I'm proud for who I am. I taught myself to be strong and not let anything, you know, break me apart. So, yeah, I wouldn't take back for anything in the world. I was born hearing first and then I became deaf when I was three due to autoimmune hearing loss or known as autoimmune inner ear disease. And um, that means that my hearing would go back and forth. Like one day I'll hear fine and then the next day I'll be deaf and just like a constant back and forth battle. And I was on steroids to help me hear, like save my hearing. It saved my right ear. It became hard of hearing. It saved like maybe 50% of my hearing in my right ear and then I became completely deaf in my left ear. This is all my implant stuff. By the time I was maybe eight or nine years old, I decided to get a cochlear implant on my left ear just so I can hear better and also be able to um, participate in the hearing world. So yeah, I'm, I'm involved with both the hearing world and the deaf world. Okay, now I can hear. I can hear now. <laughs> I was in mainstream schools, second grade until the fourth grade. And in the fourth grade for one semester, I went to State Rita School for the Deaf. And then my parents decided to pull me out because I was too advanced for their level of, ed of education. So um, I went back to Centerville City Schools where I'm from, Centerville, Ohio, where I was the only deaf person there. And that was a little bit of a battle too. <laughs> When I was younger, not a lot of people wanted to hang out with me. They always thought that I was the weird deaf girl and that I would hurt their social status. And I just, I would just like remember in middle school, I would just sit on the benches watching other kids play and read my stuff, like read a book by myself and then wait to go inside for um, our class and stuff like that. But then it improved a little bit in high school, but I had to deal with a lot of bullying. And again, not everybody kind of accepted me. It was tough for a while, and then when I got into college, that's when things finally got better for me. Things changed for me when people started realizing that I was deaf, and they wanted to like get to know me more about my background, and they want to learn sign language more, so they would want to take sign language classes. Yeah, they just want to like meet new people and stuff like that, I think. <laughs> Like, you know what, let's just take one class. I've always wanted to do it. Uh, so I took the one basics of sign language class. Um, and then sure enough, the next semester, I meet one of my best friends and she's deaf. And I was like, that is just so meant to be. It, it was just such a coincidental thing. Um, I never went on to take more classes, but honestly, I don't need to because she basically teaches me all the, the bad things of sign language to know. <laughs> As a deaf ambassador, I teach people about the deaf community and I also teach the deaf community about the hearing community because there's like sometimes a battle between the two of them. I also talk to other people who are hearing like what they should do for the deaf community. Like they need to add closed captioning to their videos or just turn on closed captioning in your restaurant or your businesses because deaf people are there. You don't really see them in public because our deafness is invisible disability. We don't like using the word disability, but that's the best way to describe it. We always have to like explain ourselves over and over and over about what we need, what we don't need, and what helps and what doesn't help. And oftentimes people tend to ignore us because we're kind of considered like the lower level of society. And we do take consideration of others, but at the same time, we need help too. She is the most incredible person that I've known. She's gone through so much um, and she's just such a joy. She's so just funny. And like, even when something is going on, she will drop everything and like make sure that you're laughing at something. And I hope that other people look past what's on her head or look past the way that her voice sounds and just really be themselves around her because she wants to get to know you and she wants you to get to know her because she's just like everybody else here. It's a little bit hard to live in both worlds because I always have to lip read a lot 
and my boyfriend is the same way too. His story is a little bit different because his family is Puerto Rican. So his parents would speak English, Spanish, and sign language at the same time, and it would confuse his language. So um, his parents decided to not speak Spanish for a while and just speak sign language in English that like help improve his language. But my mom went to St. Clair Community College and she learned sign language for me. And she wanted me to be able to open up my world more. Since it's like 2017 now, people are starting to like accept other people and they're starting to want to get to know who they are more and um, including people with disabilities, whatever it is, I think acceptance and diversity is just a big thing that I like seeing going on. The deaf community is thriving. It's full of amazing people that you don't know 